Um, this is a poem called Thank You. He called me a cunt. Oi, you're a cunt. I thanked him for the compliment. Couldn't conceive of anything more beautiful to be. Thank you. Tongues stained with blackberries, we collect kisses, falling into ditches, being stung by nettles. Your dress snags on a briar, you cry out in mock horror. I cut my way through the tangle of thorns as if I were your prince, charming me, you undo your buttons as you step out of your dress. Your dress hangs like a chrysalis. You let down your golden hair and we make love then and there a tractor and some cows go by. We laugh and try to hide. The sun beats down on my bum. We giggle and come, return to the big old dirty town and turn our blackberry picking days into luscious winter jam. Thank you. called two cupfuls of rain. These green satin cups, usually the proud upholders of your more than ample breasts, fallen forgotten from the clothesline, filled up now with the sudden thunderstorm, filled to the brim with rain and various other things. A ladybird captains a leaf in the left cup, whilst two gooseberries looking like two disembodied hairy testicles drift dazedly around the right cup. The rain overflow at both cups as you dance topless to your favourite song, ironing your white blouse and singing along. This is called um, The Discovery of Legs. Playing with his dinky, vroom vrooming in his mind, under the big, big table with the chunky legs, obscured from the world by a highly elaborate tablecloth that kisses the ground, not seen, not heard, the perfect little boy minding his own little boy business. The red dinky jag his only reality, when a leg, a leg, a leg, and a leg, and another, and another, and yet another, invades his under-the-table world. Female legs in all their glory, seen from this his unique perspective, crossed, uncrossed, scratched, stroke, a stock and hitched up, nylon smoothed, suited, here and there a glimpse of shock of all shocks, knickers, the dawning of his discovery of women's legs, he never to be the same little boy again, the red dinky fallen forever from his trembling hands. Uh, this is called uh, I Treasure You. An archaeologist sifting through sleep, carefully uncovering the many layers of dream silences, until he would get down to this, our bed of love. Discovering us here, observe how our limbs intertwine in the same gentle manner as our minds. The beating of our hearts fused into one until it becomes a beautiful obsidian ornament. Your hair like fine filigree splashed upon me, like longing exquisitively crafted. Such fragile, detailed, delicate handiwork. Hand clasped in hand like a wonderful jade brooch. A kiss still visible like a jewel upon a nipple. Realising this treasure should be left just as it is, he calls off the dig, orders the uncovering to be recovered, leaving us to wake up as if nothing extraordinary had happened. Nothing had happened except us. Thank you.